All right, everybody. So we're going to continue with what we learned yesterday. Um, it's one of those topics that we need to spend two days on. So review from yesterday. We did percent change. And we needed this formula here. New price minus old price divided by old price. And what I told you yesterday is that you had to remember what number was on the bottom. That was the most important one. Okay. So um, we're going to get this worksheet out to you. So we'll pause to make sure that this worksheet is in your hand. Sorry about the copies. A little dark, a little light. Whatever. Still going to work. Okay. So what we need to do for this worksheet is do new minus old divided by old, right? No, no. So <clears throat> I'm going to write that down up here. So you write it down. New minus old divided by old, okay? It, this is the way to calculate percents. So determine the percent of change. Now here's a chess board. It was 150, now it's 575. So was means it's the old, now means it's the new, okay? So what I'm gonna grade is that you write down your work. So it would be new price, so 575 minus your old price, which is 150, divided by, we look at their formula, old. Again, which number represents old of these two? This one. So I'm going to put 150 on the bottom. All right, so this is where you take out your calculator, right? So I, here I have my calculator. I'm going to type this in, 5.75 minus 150, oops, 5.75, oops, 75 minus 1.5 equals 4.25 over 150, right? What does this line mean in math? It means division. So I, here I have 4, 425, which is your top number. Top number always is typed in first. Then I'm going to hit the divide button, and I'm going to divide by the bottom number. 1.5 equals, whoa, what kind of crazy number is that? So I'm going to write down this crazy number, 2.8 three, three, so on. Okay, is this my percent? Percent? No, it is not. How many times do I have to move it to make it into a percent? That's right, two times. So we take this and we move it twice going this way. Today we are always gonna move that away to the right. So one and two, there's gonna be my new decimal. So the percent change here is 200, and 83.3 percent now second and third period i taught you about the bar on top which means that the three is repeating not sure if i taught period one all right so does it look like a lot of work 100 percent. is it no it's really not and you got to use a calculator so you plug it in subtraction then divide by 1.5 whatever answer you get you write it down then you move it twice the percents are going to be crazy today, and it's perfectly fine. No big deal. All right, I'm going to do the one in the back for you. So let's turn to the back. Pause what you're doing. Turn to the back. All right, number one. The original price of the calculator is $50. It is on sale for $38. What percent of disc... Oh, wait, I forgot. Right here. Circle one. Did my price increase or decrease? It increased. I'm going to circle back and... A uh, circle increase because the price went up. Increase means the price went up. Decrease means the price went down. And you clearly see the price went up. All right, never mind. Go back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The original price of the calculator is $50. Original means that this is the old, okay? And uh, it is on sale for 38 This will be your new. What percent of a discount did I receive? Okay, so remember... New minus old divided by old. My new price, 38. Minus my old price, 50. So 38 minus 50 divided by old, which is my old number, 50. So you write down um, the numbers you're going to plug into your calculator. Remember, I checked the work. Okay? So type in 38 
minus 50 equals 12. It's a negative, so that means that the price decreased. All right. So 12 over 50. So take my calculator, and I'm going to do 12 divided by this bottom number, 50 equals, I write that down, 0 0.24. Awesome. Now we get to change that into a percent by moving it twice, 1 and 2. So now my decimal is in the back. That one's no longer there. So this is equal to 24%. Percent. Okay? So, again, look at your notes from yesterday. New minus old divided by old. So you read it. You determine which price is your new price, which price is your old price. Set it up. Use a calculator to divide, to subtract and divide. Then move it twice. And um, tell me if it's increase or decrease. If you get a negative answer here, it's decreased, right? If this ends up being a negative... All you have to tell me that it's decreased. All right, so <clears throat> this worksheet, front and back, is due today at the end of your period. It The assignment will close. If you've been with me since first semester, you know it closes and you know I don't open it. So you take a picture of what you have. I will grade you on what you have completed. I want to see how much you did, okay? Um, and I always make it worth a ridiculous amount of points. So this worksheet, I'm going to make it worth 50 points, okay, which is a lot because we don't have a lot of points right now. So this is a lot of points. I want to see the work. Once you circle, increase or decrease. Again, the assignment will close at the end of the period, all right? So show me what you can do. I'm expecting both sides to be done upload both it will close at the end of the period okay so make sure you upload by the end of the period do nows will also close so make sure you finish the do nows um keep the homework i will see you guys um tomorrow um your homework tonight is a little owl so make sure you get this one um you know what let's just do um if you're still listening let's just do the um uh, let's do odds only, which are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, so on. If you don't know what odds are, then I guess you have to do all of them. <laughs> Anyways, all right, be good. If you're good, I'll give you a homework pass. How about that? But it only takes one to mess it up, so if I get one negative comment, no homework passes for all of you. All right, see you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions, anything, just email me.